like the setup of what I just showed you of what I did for Ryan's birthday. I try to make his birthdays really special because um, he is my only child and I can't have any more children. And I just feel like he's such a gift from God and that I really just want to celebrate that and celebrate that he's here and that he can be a part of our family and that you know we truly love him and appreciate him and our life is so much richer because he is in it so I kind of go a little bit overboard for birthdays but what can you do I guess to each their own you know and so I wanted to show you what we got him for his birthday. Um, we got him four different things this year and they uh, all come from Amazon. I'll put the links down below in case you guys are interested in any of them. We got basically two video game kind of things and then two kind of activity things. So, um, the video game stuff, he actually has a Nintendo Switch that he got for Christmas. So he really wanted this game and it's called Mario vs. Rabbits, or Mario and Rabbits Kingdom Battle. And he asked me for this game and because of the name, I just thought it was so weird. I was like, really, this is what you want? But it's what he wanted and he's been playing it all day and he loves it. So I think sometimes um, I have this tendency to if it seems strange to me or oh that I don't know about that like that doesn't seem very like fun or cool like and he's like no that'd be really fun um, I think I have to kind of push myself a little bit more with that and kind of let him you know have kind of the funner stuff that sounds funny but really could be like a really fun the other thing we got is this carrying case for a Nintendo Switch. Originally I was going to get him a Zelda carrying case and they're really cool, but we started looking on Amazon and this carrying case is the exact same as um, body shape as what the um, ones you buy at GameStop are, but this one is just kind of a black and you can it's just kind of that black fabric. Uh, the thing I liked about this is that I think it had more storage so you could fit he said 20 games in here So there's these little flaps where you can put the games and There's a zippered pocket here. I guess you put your actual switch over here and um, I don't know Ryan knew kind of how it all went Oh, hold on. I got the expert. Okay. On the picture, I guess you can buy more Joey Cons so you can put them in there. But you can also put your charger in there. Oh. And that's the good. and these little flaps you can put your game so it can hold 20 games. And then this is where you can put your switch and and you can like strap it down and you can like it like velcros down. Strap it down. And this and then oh. there's a tiny part where you can strap it a bit more. Uh -huh. And then there. And then it has a carrying handle. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Did you hear him? He said you're welcome. Uh, so this was actually only $12.99 versus the ones you buy in GameStop or somewhere around like $16 to $20, which I would have paid gladly any of these prices, but I thought this was a better deal. So it seems sturdy and well constructed and so if you're looking for something like that I think it's a really good gift because we pay so much money as parents for these game systems and things like that it's like you know it, terrible as it sounds it's like oh you're buying the accessories to go with it but I do want something that I paid a lot of money for to be protected the carrying case will actually be really good for the summer in case we go on trips and stuff like that the next thing we got him is we got him two bow and arrows. And this is something that was my husband's idea. Generally, I'm the one who has most of the ideas about gifts and all that kind of fun stuff. Well, this year he said, oh, I was talking to Ryan and I think we should get him a bow and arrow. And I was like, okay. And what do I know about what nine-year-old boys want? I mean, for real. So. We ended up getting him a toy one and a real one. And we were gonna get him a real one to kind of practice in the backyard and get some hay bales and let him do a 
about a week or two before his birthday, he actually broke his toy one that he's had probably since he was like three. So it was like, okay, we need to add a toy one to his cart. So, so I will have him show you the two that he got. This one is the real one. It's orange. Oops. It's orange. It says first shot on it. It comes with um, two arrows, the bow, and it says arrow guard, finger rollers, target, arm guard too. And so I don't know what that is. It's probably all that kind of stuff, like the arm guard and all that oh, stuff. Oh, arm, okay. arm guard, arm okay. guard. Yeah. That's okay. so. And there's a there's a target back there that you can see as well. So we told him that we have to still get him some hay bales and so he can put it in the backyard and then, um, you know, kind of practice. And but, it's, these arrows are metal, they're not spear. Yeah, they're, they're like a metal arrow at the end. And so um, this um, is really good quality. This is like a metal part of the bow. And the string is, um, I think it's because it's in the case, but I think it like, flicks really well to like shoot the arrow good. But I think it's because it's in the case that so it's just like really yeah, hard. It's, and the, it's real tight and it seems it seems really well built actually. I wanna say we only paid like I wanna say it was twenty to twenty five dollars. But it will be down in the description box below. So the toy one actually I if I remember right was a little bit pricier and I remember thinking, oh that much for a toy one. So you have to check. I don't remember off the top of my head, and I, but it does come with um, arrows, three arrows, a quiver for his back, and that was the one thing he really wanted, a quiver for, I don't know why. Here. It actually comes in a multitude of different colors, and so we picked green because he really likes the green arrow, and we watch arrow, me and him together a lot. So it comes, um, like I told you, with a quiver and three arrows, and it has the suction thing. Suction thing. My husband was like, make sure you get him the ones with the suction. I don't know, this must be a boy thing. Now the suction doesn't like stick to the walls or anything, only sticks to this. Which is great. <laughs> yeah. And here's the bow. Here's the bow. So the string's pretty flex flexible and wait, wrong way. It's flipped over. And okay. oh my bad. <laughs> I didn't know your eye was right there. And it has a light. It has like a targeting light. Mm -hmm. And it's really flexible. And like it's kinda like a real bow because it's got like the resting part for the uh, for the arrow, not like other t toy bows, uh, like it has like the hole in the middle, and like you just slide the arrow through there and be like that. And it yeah. has like the little resting thing. So I mean, it's not as big, obviously, like, but it's just it's a regular size of what you would buy any other toy bow. Um, he puts it around him, and he's it fits, and he loves it, um, and he just walks around like everything's fine. And I really like the light, and we thought it needed batteries, but it didn't. And I think that is a really good touch. So this bow is, I want to say this bow is around $20, and the actual shoot outside bow was $25, but I could be wrong on that. So it has like a little handle grip, which I really like about that. I like how it has the handle grip. Mm. Look at it. Yeah. So that is what we got him for his birthday. And of course we got him, I decorated up everything as you saw. I decorated his room. There are 30 balloons. 29, because one of them popped. Oh yeah, one of them popped. So there are 30 balloons on our living room floor right now. But that's okay because you only turn nine once, right? Mm-hmm. So all my decorations came from the dollar store. The I got two packs of balloons and they were both a dollar. They had 15 in each. They were really easy to blow up too. So they were the ones that said happy birthday on them. I should have grabbed a better color, huh? But they were the ones that said happy birthday on them. And they were really easy to blow up because I blew them up all by myself. Uh, my husband's um, out of town on business. The happy birthday sign, both of them, are, uh, they came in a two pack 
from the dollar store and I just stuck them up with painters tape um, because we have just recently moved I had painters tape just like kind of hanging around actually I had some around my jewelry box to keep it closed and I literally just took it off my jewelry box and used it to you know kind of reused it and it worked just fine the mylar balloons that you get from the Dollar Tree are actually a really good deal if you want mylar balloons. They are the foil balloons. Um, they're really good there because they stay forever. Um, I know last year's are stayed up forever. You can get weights there and actually as I was checking out one of the girls was like, do you want to wait for your balloons? And I said, oh, I should probably get one. If I would have been thinking about it, I would have probably got more than one. Um, I had intended to tie them like all over his bed and then um, and put all the balloons in his room and I decided to do this instead because I really wanted to use my fireplace um, as like the focal point just for nostalgia and I wanted um, to look back on the pictures so um, that's my tip it really didn't cost me very much to kind of make this whole little scene I'll show you one more thing I did decorate his room while he was sleeping um, this is kind of a tradition. Usually we put streamers outside his door and or um, kind of make it a maze so he has to crawl out or something fun. But my husband wasn't here so I decided to do something different and let me show you guys what I did. This is his room and yeah. I got him one emoji balloon because I knew he would love this and because it was different than all the other balloons that's why it's on his bed but look at his bed I took this streamer and let me show you it just says happy birthday and it's super colorful so it was a dollar and I used a whole pack of streamer just a one roll of it yeah I did that for so you could get in and, and out looks like an exit. yeah and I just kind of put it like just draped it all over and I just kind of made it up as I went and because he has bunk beds it was a lot easier but I think it's a really fun easy idea to wake up to and be like oh my gosh it's my birthday so <laughs> did you think it was fun this morning? I liked it. Alright guys so that is it for us thanks for hanging out and seeing what we got our little guy thank um, you for including me in the video you're welcome and he is nine today. Cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. Calm down. Okay. It's okay. I'm so grateful that I have this wonderful child, and I hope this maybe gives you some ideas if you're buying a gift for a boy, or just some ideas for you know kids uh, to wake up to on their birthday, even if it's during the week, because. Is just happened to be on a even during the week this year so I still wanted to make it special for him you are the best the best too I love you I love you too tell him bye bye see you guys again